Well, I've always liked making things uh, with my hands. I was building racing cars and things before. And I also used to work in the composites factory for a couple of years. And so the two sort of came together. I was I was starting to surf, enjoyed surfing. I could never afford to uh, buy a new surfboard, so I thought, well, just make one. Make one yourself. Uh, I started shaping oh, 2008 in my grandfather's garage. Then finished it off on my mother's kitchen table. <laughs> I don't think she's too happy about that. Well, we just make boards purely for fun. Uh, they're not, I don't make high performance boards, they're just boards to go out and for everyday purpose have a bit of fun on. And it's great to see people surfing the upwards and just having so much fun, like just constantly smiling afterwards and just doing exactly what we the boards should have done, you know, when I first made them. And that's how when I make a board I imagine how they'll surf and seeing the people actually surf them like that is, is really cool. So. I started surfing uh, about ten Fifteen years ago, and then I just started getting a bit more and more. We were kind of pushing each other. I ended up going to university in Swansea, and um, Swansea's by the sea and has some pretty good waves. Then eventually, I, by accident, I got myself a longboard, and since then, I never really looked back on that longboard. It, it just changed everything for me, and I start catching waves. We start developing our um, style at the moment. Um, it starts to be recognizable, as always. Uh, the resin work, always very bright, uh, trendy, unexpected colors. We're trying to fill the person. We ask, of course, the person what's their favorite color and what they prefer. Maybe trying to look into a person's style and guess. And it's nice to get back the classic culture and people are just having fun you know, competing and yeah, that's what we're trying to move to people they should serve the boys which are easy to serve which is fun to serve and enjoyable